remember how it felt not to be heard, not to be seen, trying to figure out life and who we are. And so that scripture comes to mind to me, suffer not little children to come. And so when they come, we have to also make space for them and make a place for them. And I've just been encouraged just in my own house dealing with little Luke um, because, you know, I always know the pressure put on preacher kids and I can only imagine, I won't even tell you the stories I went through in my youth of becoming who I would be, not knowing who I was and why I was dealing with the verse I was dealing with because the devil don't play fair. Amen. And we have to be aware if God has assignment on your life, that's much more that you have to fend for to get to the place God wants you to be. And so for those of us who know what ministry is all about and what our job is, is our job to make space and to fight and to support, to raise up another generation that will be all they should be for God. So today I wanted to spend this time because um, the scripture came to mind while I was uh, not putting forth uh, Luke to be baptized. I wanted him to know and understand what it means. Uh, I think it's always cute when you see little kids come, but sometimes you want to make sure we're in a cute moment. It's an understanding moment. And so I waited a whole two years before I baptized him, and he was so adamant and, 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 and obsessed with being baptized that I couldn't deny that he understood and it's something he wanted to do. And likewise, that's how he feel about preaching. All day, every day, he's preaching. And so over the holiday, I had to sit there for a moment because he wanted to have service when we get home from service. And I had to really listen to this young man and realize he not playing. Then I had to listen closer to listen that he's saying stuff that we ain't taught him. And so Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, before I formed thee in your mother's womb, I knew thee. It's a difference in when you read the scripture and then when you live within your house. So today I want to introduce our devotional message today from Brother Luke Tillman is going to come and share with us. And I thought if he can touch the world and people across this country, I mean literally from out the country, inbox and messages of what they have seen or felt from listening to him, I think it's only appropriate that he has a chance to share with his church family from where he comes from at the First Trinity Missionary Baptist Church. I want to give Luke a hand as he get ready to come. Amen. Guess what? God, some praise at the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be talking about God's love, but first I got to get this scripture out. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the whole world, He gave His only begotten Son, right? Whosoever believed in Him. Should not perish and they shall not die, but have everlasting life. Do y'all know that? Amen. I do. Amen. I'm going to be talking about God's love. God's love, He gave His only Son. And Jesus' love, it goes with God. God is a protector. And it said why, why Jesus loves us so much. Why he loves us so much, he being responsible to his son. And what he did, he down on the We know he's a protector. Jesus is a savior. Do y'all know that? That's why I kept my Bible with me. Because God is too good. Now, do y'all know he loved us first? 
And they all know the devil's a liar. God's been too good to us. I said God's been too good to us. Because why? Can y'all tell me why is Jesus so good? Because why God is so good, Jesus is so good. Every single day. This feels like when I got baptized, y'all. This feels like when I was up there, I was shaking. But the Lord is holding me. I thought I was going to drown in that water. But my God is too good. I can't even say nothing because he's too good. He's holding me right now. He's doing everything for us. Because Jesus is good. The devil's a liar. And God's a truther. Why God loves us. I know that Jesus is a protector. He's a savior. Why God is love. He loved us first. We love him back. God is good. The devil's not good. Y'all got to learn that. I've been saying scripture sent I've been saying part to the scripture sounds two years old. I've been saying Jesus was two years old. I've been i every single time when I look at the cross, I say Jesus. We would drive somewhere and then and then I saw this cross on top of the church, right? And I said, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, do y'all know that? He is too good at this house. He is too protectable. He is too essential. He, I don't know, no one else. He is the true God. He's, in, he's even grown-ups' fathers. Y'all don't need a not mother. All y'all just need is a father. And what's his name? Jesus. God is too good in this house. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get into it? Y'all ready? God, why God loves us so much, he gave his only son, God, why God loves us so much, he gave his son, what's his name, Jesus, God is too good to me, God. I say no, do you know he's awake for me? He's, I'm at the church to praise God. I'm a question, a question. Is someone who loves God? Yes, he's able. Yes, he's protectable. Yes, he's too good. It is us of Jesus. God is too good to me. I know he's awake at the church. God is too good.
Lord, tell me, Jesus, I said, Jesus, Jesus, he is so good, tell me, he is the technical, he's a savior, can I say, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, he is the too good to me, even too acceptable to me. God is a Father, Heavenly Father, in Christ, in Christ, in Christ, in Christ. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, I said, he been too good to me, do you know that, yes, yes, Give us a prayer.